Joanna Czech. I'm so excited to be a part of the Vogue Beauty Festival 2021. I would like to share with you my uh, skincare nighttime routine. Um, let's get started. This is uh, my routine for tonight uh, because that really varies the way how your skin feels. If you were traveling, depends what you ate, depends if you worked out, depends what you drank, uh, depends if you have makeup on or not. So all those uh, routines could vary. I will start with makeup remover. I had a little bit of tinted moisturizer today, so that's where we're gonna start. And start with removing mascara. and any makeup and bring them outwards, down and out, down and out. If you have a thick layer of a makeup on, you could apply those saturated patches on your eyes for a few minutes to loosen up makeup and do exactly the same then go down and out. There are schools showing opposite direction. I, I just used this particular direction. And now we get into facial cleansing. I Tonight I'm using my Soothing Cleansing Gel by Exquisite. Uh, I love it. It's just for the sensitive skins like myself, perfect solution. I mix it slightly with water and simply Wash my face. I use at night warm water because that definitely helps with makeup removal or any residue of a day. Tonight I'm going to choose my double cleanse step, so it's a little deep pore cleansing. Uh, I'm going to use pre-cleanse oil by uh, Environ and I will follow with hydrating clay mask. Oil will work as a disincrustant. Oil dissolves oil. It's perfect for any congested skin or simply to uh, soften any dehydrated patches. So, touch of pre-cleanse oil. You spread all around the face, neck, and decollete. This is a great moment if you want to uh, do a little self-massage. Use a few massaging movements. You could activate oil slightly for more sleep with water. Concentrate on congested areas or dehydrated areas. And before rinsing that oil off, you apply a thin layer of hydrating mask by Environ. Massage it together. Whatever was softened by oil, this mask with kaolin is going to detach. So skin after this double cleanse remains super smooth. And I use it usually twice a week and that's plenty. And tonight is a, one of those nights. I remove residue of this product with my wash pads, Joanna Czech wash pads. They are made out of 60% linen and 40% cotton. That gives you a nice uh, exfoliation, actually. Try not to forget about back of the neck, usually when you take care of yourself, because the, we find tons of dehydrated skin there. And now there is that moment for your toner. 
Whenever water touches your face, the pH of your skin uh, gets a little bit too close to alkaline level. So I recommend using pH controlling toner. My favorite is um, P50 PIGM 400 by Biologic Recherche. Inhibits hyperpigmentation, so it's great for any skin with tendencies to hyperpigmentation. We can use it applying with this press release motion, treating skin like a sponge. Or you can work the toner up with your cotton pads, manipulating muscle and skin just more targeted way. A little press release. And tonight I've chosen a uh, for LED sparkling gel pack, it's super oxygenating mask all over the face. It's a clear gel and you will see very shortly how it activates. For reactive skins, it's usually recommended for about seven minutes. You can keep it for as long as 20 minutes and simply remove it with water. I will have a moment to uh, maybe give you a few tips or advices. So things that I always repeat, as you notice, I'm applying product also on my neck and decollete. Um, you don't need to necessarily use neck and decollete specific products. I, but it's super important to treat this area. Uh, neck and decollete, they have a reduced lipidic layer, about 40% in comparison to our face. We have simply less subitious glands on neck decollete or the back of the hand. That's why very often aging process shows uh, in these areas before it shows on our face. Um, again, not necessary neck and decollete product, but never forgetting about that area. I have this not very elegant saying that your face starts with the nipples and ends in the hairline, but that just makes sense. I mean, we usually get that oily skin or acne on the face, not neck and decollete. Jawline creates almost perfect borderline between amount of subitious glands uh, regarding face and then neck and decollete. So that's the first step. Never forget about it. Of course, nighttime routine is the most important moment of taking care of your skin. Your skin is about 60% more potent uh, to absorb everything during relaxation and rejuvenation time. And I'm not talking just uh, about the face. Body is equally important. Uh, really, the whole flattened skin is about two square meters big and, and, and weighs three kilo and has about 25% of immune system. So it's great to go to bed nicely taken care of. I also say don't bring streets to your sheets. So that's another advice. Don't do what your girlfriend does. We all have such a specific problems um, and that depends on our lifestyle, our age, our skin condition. It's not even skin type because we can have dry skin, but we can always, we could have also dehydrated skin. So, Dry is a type, dehydrated is condition. Um, it, but regarding this particular mask, I usually advise to this uh, rather lifeless skins, or this is perfect mask for any urban areas, anybody who lives um, in a lot of pollution and so on, super brightening and invigorating, oxygenating. Um, as I said, increases respiration of, of your um, uh, cells. So um, it's definitely among my favorites. I will be getting into washing this mask now. You just simply remove the mask with, with your washcloth as well. You see how it's bubbling. I sort of enjoy it. It's kind of photogenic as well. It feels great. And the skin feels amazing after. Just making 
make sure that it's all nice and dry. And now it's gonna be this very important moment. Uh, you would think now we are applying serums and creams. Now comes the moment for uh, another toner. So the first toner that I used, it was uh, pH controlling, super important, but it was also micro exfoliating because pH of the toner was below 4.6. I'm going to use now another toner. It's slightly acidic, but it's not exfoliating. Again, by Exquisite, ultra hydrating facial toner um, because I just use water to remove my mask. So water again affected the pH of the skin. That's why there is another toner. My very first instructor told me many, many years ago, treat your muscles like a dough and your skin like a sponge. So application of many products, it's that press release motion. When you press, your skin microscopically opens. When you release, the skin grasps anything what's on the surface. So you have right away microfiller, whatever it is, your serum, your toner, any of your moisturizers. Can always concentrate on those weaker areas with any product that you applying on your face this is a great moment for your basic serums i'm using today vigitensil and placenta by biologique placenta healing hydrating and inhibiting hyperpigmentation especially um, due to breakouts and vigitensil toning and firming that's what i need and my age, or the age of my skin. Never forgetting about neck and decolleté. Now comes my vena A. There are different forms of vena A. I use retinal palmitide from the group of um, products uh, by uh, Environ. I use sequence one. Retinal palmitide is an ester form of Vimna A, does not create sun sensitivity. It's great for anyone with reactive skins or sensitive skins. It has five different levels of strength. You're allowed to use it actually night and day. This is a perfect moment for your eye product. Uh, there is uh, sometimes that mistake that we use eye product as a final step. But I feel like that's too late then because you have all the layers of the serums and moisturizers and then you come with your, um, with your eye cream. So I advise putting eye cream after your serums. I considered my Vanna A as, a, as another serum. And I will be applying two eye products today. I'm using Capture Total Eye Cream uh, and um, Protective Nourishment Eye Glow Serum. This is a very curious product. So it's amazing for anyone with tired looking eye area or dark circles. As we know, they are not, there's, we cannot do much about it, but um, we can kind of trick that area by mixing literally a touch of this serum with any of your eye creams to create that dewy look around eyes. So this is the nighttime routine, but for the daytime, it's excellent when the light hits this area, it doesn't show imperfections so much. Try to use for your eye area, actually uh, ring finger, we never use those, so it's the most delicate touch, but if you can control just however, the 
works for you. Again, that's a great moment to address the area. As you see, I'm being quite firm on my upper lid. I'm really treating that muscle, the brow muscle. Then there is press release around the cross feet and then very gentle movement from in out, wavy movement. That's usually draining movement and many of us we have that tiredness either in the morning or at night um, after the whole day. And now comes moment for my final moisturizer. I'm going to use cream mask vernix by Biologique, Biologique Recherche, with a few drops of Seven Moments Oil by Oyo. Beautiful smoothing oil, just I'm literally adding two drops. Mix two products together. It's a very hydrating treatment. My next step will be that Netflix friendly situation that I very often talk about. Um, they might be better moments for uh, massage or for LED therapy. What uh, I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to go to my bed and will uh, do some massage and then spend 30 minutes under my uh, red LED light that I strongly believe in. Uh, red LED light stimulates production of elastin and collagen that was proven nearly 60 years ago. Um, I never use the words anti-aging, but anytime that uh, slows aging process down. So effects of aging process like fine lines, hyperpigmentation, uh, lack of elasticity, enlarged pores, a red LED light by increasing elasticity of the skin reduces appearance of all those uh, imperfections. Thank you Vogue India for having me tonight. I hope you all enjoyed this little session.